Dear Luz Karime, as you can tell, probably I am at my sister's house. I've been spending most of this week here, so it's been kind of hard for me to like get time to film a video. But I still wanted to do something really quick, just so you know I could have the video for this week and just update you on some things. The biggest thing is probably that Christina is sick right now, unfortunately. She has a little tummy bug, and I think it's going away. She's been okay today, but for the past couple of days, it's been hard for her to keep food down. So if you could just keep her in your thoughts and prayers, I would really appreciate that. And I will, of course, keep you updated and let you know as soon as she's doing better, like for sure. On a lighter note, there are a few things going on. Eric and Carla got me a Netflix subscription for Christmas. So that's all I've been doing with my life. I've been watching Doctor Who constantly, and I like it. I don't love it, but now I'm invested, so I have to watch it. But it's really hard for me to watch it because this show is consistently the main character meeting people and then saying goodbye to people. And I'm really, really bad at saying goodbye to people. Regardless, it's a good show. I like it. And if you like sci-fi and you're willing to sit through extended periods of marathoning because this show is forever long, then I would recommend it. You personally probably wouldn't love it as much, but you know, I'm sure you've heard of it. The invitation's out there to watch it with me and talk to me about it if you're interested. Something I definitely would recommend to you is this book, which I finished earlier on in the year. It's The First Phone Call from Heaven by Mitch Album. Mitch Album is easily my favorite author. I think he's really good with imagery and his writing somehow is relatable. I think to a degree it's a little stream of consciousness, which I can relate to because that's exactly how I write, but it's just easy to follow the story. And he does that thing that usually I don't like where there's several storylines and he'll jump back and forth between them. But for some reason when he does it, it's very easy to follow. It's super clear cut. I completely understand everything that's going on. Mitch Album also has a tendency to write his novels very closely related to his faith. And I can understand for some people it might be a little preachy, but I think he's really good at making a fine line between you need to believe in this and here's this thing that is really important in my life and I would like to share it with you. And he has beautiful stories. My favorite is probably Have a Little Faith, which is actually based on true stories within the lives of people he knew. I definitely recommend that book and this one. This one's fictional and basically it's about what happens when the world starts receiving phone calls from the great beyond, as it were, and how the world is reacting to this new miracle. I haven't exactly been up to much else. I've been home for the most part and other things have happened that I want to tell you about but I'm saving those for the letters so you need to write back to me. But before this video ends, I want to introduce you to Clue, my current friend, my rumor reflect that this is probably the last time you will see Clue because supposedly I am getting a new phone very soon. That's what my dad says, we'll see. He says he already has the phone and he's just waiting for the contract with Sprint to end so that I can get my new phone. I'm certainly gonna miss this one because it's treated me well with all its flaws. Clue's been great to me, but I guess it's time, you know, he's old enough as is. Fun fact, it's a smartphone. I am getting an iPhone, which I'm kind of bitter about because I can't stand Apple products personally, but you know what? It's a blessing and I should not be all critical over something that I'm very lucky to have. Having a smartphone is going to be so weird for me because I just, I don't really like touch screens and I really have no need for all of the things that these phones can do, but it's also going to be useful, you know, it's a way to keep in contact with all of my mentees when I'm away from my computer, which is going to be fantastic. And I also realized that I will get WhatsApp, meaning I will be able to text with people all around the world. So that means I will be able to contact my family regularly, which I can't do now, obviously. And I'll be able to text you, which is fantastic because I haven't been able to do that. Also, Clue, this little darling, Great as he is for texting and calling and taking pictures, 
is not able to record video. But my new phone will be able to, meaning I'll be able to take that with me everywhere and I'll actually be able to start vlogging when I go out and I'll actually be able to show you things from now on, which I think may be what I'm most excited about. It'll be good, it'll be good. I just need to actually see my dad because if I don't see him, I'm not getting the phone, whoops. I guess that's all I have to say for now. Sorry that these videos are apparently getting shorter, but maybe that's better. Maybe it's good that I'm not rambling on for 10 minutes because who really needs to listen to me talk for 10 minutes?